Howdy, Rowdy Yates with High Plains Biochar. Today we're going to go over some common questions that we get regarding the Rocket Char 301 Biochar Production Unit. As you can see today, we're inside of a building. We want to keep the Rocket Char 301 out of the weather and the elements. Inside that building, you're going to need to have 110 volt electricity. Just a single 110 volt outlet is all that's required to operate the Rocket Char 301. We also require water, so you're going to need to have some sort of a tank that the quench pump uses to quench the biochar as it comes out of the machine. The last part of the process that you're going to need is an 8 inch stove pipe and chimney. And that's going to be very similar to the chimney you would find on a regular wood stove, but, but just 8 inch instead of 6 inch. The main requirements for fuel for the Rocket Char 301 are it needs to be under an inch and a quarter in length, it needs to have less than 30% moisture content, and it needs to be able to flow through a three inch auger. Today we're running sawmill waste. This is pine sawmill waste that's been through a three quarter inch hammer mill screen. This fuel runs really well. We also run a lot of hemp waste. After the CBD is extracted from the flour, the hemp waste makes a great feedstock for biochar. You can also run this on other crop residues, corn, wood pellets, and a variety of other biomass. This machine makes about 100,000 BTU of heat per hour. Some people who do not have a use for the heat will simply vent that heat into the atmosphere. We also offer options for air-to-air -air heat exchangers and air-to-liquid heat exchangers, depending on your situation and how you want to utilize your heat. With the correctly sized solar panels and battery bank, this machine can be run off-grid because of its extremely low power usage requirements. We typically run between 1100 and 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. We found that that makes a really high quality biochar and it keeps emissions minimized. This is typically just about ash removal. The ash removal port here is down in the front of the machine, the lower area. We use a auger hooked to a cordless drill to remove the ash from this area. This varies slightly depending on the feedstock, the moisture content, and the BTUs in the feedstock. A good rule of thumb is around 10 gallons of input per hour and about a 25 to 30% yield. For pine wood chips like we're running today, we typically run about 10 gallons per hour and we'll make about 2.2 gallons of biochar per hour. For hemp waste, we typically run about 12 gallons per hour and we get about three and a half gallons of biochar per hour. The Rocket Char 301 has this temperature controller, which is fully automated. This actually shuts the fuel off once the temperature set point is reached, so you don't have to stand there and control the machine. All you have to do is keep the fuel bin full of wood chips or other biomass and keep the biochar bin empty to operate the machine. This controller also allows you to plot data and is part of the data collection process for our carbon credit program. And this varies depending on the situations, but if you have a need for heat and you have waste biomass available, the Rocket Char 301 may be a perfect fit for your farm. We see this on a regenerative farm that may use the Rocket Char 301 to process waste crop residues on their farm and then utilize the biochar on site. This could also mean a cannabis farmer that utilizes his waste cannabis to heat his greenhouse all winter long and then incorporates the biochar into his grow media. This could also be a sawmill that utilizes waste sawdust for feedstock and creates biochar as a value added product that they sell. So there are a lot of different situations where the Rocket Char 301 fits. If you have more questions about the Rocket Char 301 and its features, please feel free to check out the website and reach out for more information. Thanks so much for your time.